Hey guys, it's Leah. Today we will learn how to solve integrals using the sum difference rule. The sum difference rule is pretty simple. When taking the derivative of two functions added or subtracted together, you can take the derivative of each function and then add or subtract them together. Let's see some examples. First example, we want to compute the derivative of x cubed plus 4. First, we will use the sum difference rule. This equals the derivative of x cubed plus the derivative of 4. We will solve the derivative of x cubed first. Using the power rule, this equals 3x squared plus the derivative of 4. Next, we will solve the derivative of 4. Recall the constant rule. The derivative of any constant is 0. So this equals 3x squared plus 0, which simplifies to 3x squared, our answer. Next example, we want to compute the derivative of x to the negative 1 minus 3x. We first use the sum difference rule. This equals the derivative of x to the negative 1 minus the derivative of 3x. We will solve the derivative of x to the negative 1 first. We use the power rule. This equals negative x to the negative 2 minus the derivative of 3x. Next, we will compute the derivative of 3x. First, we will use a multiplication by a constant rule to pull out the 3. Then, we will use the power rule because we are taking the derivative of x to the 1. This now equals negative x to the negative 2 minus 3, our answer. Last example. We want to compute the derivative of x squared plus x minus 5. We first use the sum difference rule, but this time for three functions. So this equals the derivative of x squared plus the derivative of x minus the derivative of 5. We will first compute the derivative of x squared using the power rule. This equals 2x. Next, we will compute the derivative of x using the power rule. This equals 1. And finally, we compute the derivative of 5 using the constant rule. This equals 0. We simplify this and get 2x plus 1, our answer. The sum difference rule makes computing derivatives of difficult functions a lot easier. So for more help on this topic or practice, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.